Hello, my amazing artist. Allow me to introduce you to New York artist James Rizzi. James Rizzi lived from 1950 to 2011 and was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. He loved New York City so much that he created lots of paintings and drawings of this city. He was a pop artist, painter, sculptor, graphics artist, and designer. As a pop artist, he liked to use strong, bold lines, bright, vivid colors, to, and to let his imagination loose. He is quoted as saying he did not like to draw from life, but liked to draw from his memory and imagination. All of his artwork is playful and reminds us that happiness should not be taken for granted and that love for life is all around us. Now let's learn how to create our own James Rizzi inspired cityscapes. A cityscape is a drawing or painting of a city. So please write your name in pencil and then you will be using a pencil to create this, but I am going to use marker just so you can see it. We will also use this handout to follow along step by step. To begin, let's draw the buildings in the foreground or the front of the picture. So I am drawing horizontal and vertical lines to create rectangles. The rectangles I am making are nice and wide, and this is because I will be drawing faces on them, so I need some room. Next step, add lines and shapes to the tops of your buildings. This will add interest and make each building unique so they stand out and don't look the same. Next is my favorite part. It is time to draw faces on your buildings. You have this idea sheet that has some different James Rizzi styled faces. If you need some ideas or inspiration for how to draw your faces, you could draw faces that are cartoon and silly. You can draw faces that are of people you love or even a self-portrait building. If you want, <laughs> whatever you choose, you might want to start with the eyes first. And maybe your buildings want to look like they are talking to each other. But of course, it is up to you as the artist. Have fun with this and be creative, making each building look unique and special. Now that my faces are done, I'm going to add doors and windows. You can use the idea sheet that you have for some different James Rizzi doors and windows and other building or architectural elements. But because these are buildings, we need to have some sort of doors or windows. Again, try to make each building beautifully unique Think of your buildings as being people and how fun and funky you can make each one look. Use lines and shapes to add variety to your buildings so that each one looks different. And then if you'd like, you can use your idea sheet to draw some different items in the background, which is the sky. When you have finished your drawing and you are happy with it, it is time to draw over your pencil lines with a Sharpie. Try your best to go over those pencil lines with your Sharpie and definitely take more time than I am. This video is sped up. When you are done, if you can see any of those pencil lines, well, you can just use your eraser and erase over them. But we will be adding some color, so it's really not a big deal. Speaking of color, let's get started. I want you to use crayon to color the faces, doors, and windows on your buildings. If you drew anything in the background, you'll want to color those with your crayon as well. Notice I am not coloring the entire building. Okay, that's really important to remember. Instead, just focus on the faces, doors, and windows. Now, when it comes to the rest of the building, we will be using marker. I recommend using warm colors for the buildings. That way they stand out. Warm colors are reds, oranges, yellows, and even some pinks. Just color around the edges of your buildings with marker like I'm doing here. You don't have to color the entire thing. Just focus on coloring the top, bottom, 
and sides of your buildings, but make sure your lines are nice and thick. To do this, hold your marker on the side to create a thick line. After you have colored the sides of your buildings, let's go to the background. The background is going to be the sky, so let's use cool colors. Cool colors are greens, blues, and purples. I want mine to look like a sky, so I'm using blue. These zigzag squiggly lines will create movement and it will look like my night sky is moving. Now time for the magic trick. When you are doing this, the water that you're placing on top of the marker starts to wake up your marker and it starts to move around or bleed. Your markers start to act like watercolor paint. Don't worry if it doesn't happen right away. Sometimes it takes a little while for that marker to really wake up. Make sure that you stay within the sides of your building and bring the color to the middle of your building. If you put your brush all over your paper, all these colors will mix together and they'll actually become muddy and they won't look very good. So first, just focus on bringing the color of the buildings into the middle of the buildings. And when you are done with your buildings, it's time to move on to the background. You might want to wash off your brush and then move to the background. That way our warm colors and the cool colors do not mix together. When you are finished, please go place it on the drying rack so that it can dry. And there you go, artist. You just created your very own James Rizzi inspired cityscape.